Hey everyone, TechnoShark here. Today we'll be showing you how to update your drivers in Windows 7, 8 and 10. The first step for updating your drivers is to go to go into your search engine and type in driver tallying. Here you'll find the first link. This is drivethelife.com, the official website of driver tallying. When you click on the link, it takes you to the website where you can download the software. Just click in the big green button which says download now and your program can start downloading. After the download is completed, you will find it in your default downloads folder. I have set it on my desktop and it is new in the driver tallying system. When you open the setup, it asks for the admin rights. If you need to enter the password, just enter it and say yes. Here, the big install dialog box opens. Just click the big blue install button and your installation process completes. Now your installation is successful. Click on the start now button. Here the first page of the driver talent opens. Just click on the scan button and let the software do its work. After the scanning is completed, it shows your unrepaired drivers and the, so and the drivers which have to be updated. Here for me, it shows that my audio driver has to be updated and its size is 81.2 MB. Just click the download button and since we are using driver talent 3, click the driver talent 3 button and click continue. Here the latest update for your driver starts downloading. While the driver is downloading, I will be showing some key features of this software. This software is completely dedicated to drivers and all the features are related to that. On the left side, we have download and update, backup, restore, uninstall, peripheral drivers, pre-download, toolbox and settings. The peripheral drivers, pre-download, toolbox and settings are the advanced options and the first four are the free options. Now that the download has completed and we are using the free version of the software, we need to install the drivers manually. Just click the drop down button next to the install button and click browse files and click continue. Here it takes you to the download directory where you can extract the files and install them on your PC. To extract the file you need a software named WinRAR. I will be providing the download link in the description. Now open the file and click extract to desktop. Here just click desktop and click ok. Now the extraction process will complete. Now I will be showing you the installation process. Just go to desktop and click the setup icon. Here it asks for the admin rights and if you need to provide the password just provide it and click yes. Here it starts from the initializing of application. Here just click ok. And here it says installing device drivers. Now your device driver installation is complete and the installation results are your device driver name and the result is a success. Now click ok. And now to complete your device driver installation you need to restart your PC. So just restart it. Now that I have restarted my PC I would be checking if the drivers have installed properly or not. For that just open driver talent and then click scan and let the software do its work as usual. Here it says congratulations all drivers are perfect. In the end thanks for watching my video please like comment and subscribe to my channel. Peace.